Hello, this is Philip Reeve. And this is Sarah McIntyre. And um, we're the authors of Kevin and the Biscuit Bandit. Yay! And gonna, yay! And we're going to hand you over now to a video where Sarah is going to teach you how to draw your very own roly-poly flying pony. Come over to my desk and we'll start drawing. Okay, so you can draw dark lines and light lines, you know, the really sketchy light ones. So I'm going to do it with a pencil first to show a very light line that goes straight across like that. And your second very, very light line will go like a big laughing mouth like that. And then we're going to go in the dark lines. You can do it with a pencil or I'm doing it with a pen. So you're going to start about here and go up like that. There we go. And then make a little hook like that. And another, this is the ears. And then a very short little line there. Another hook, another ear. And then a straight line for the top of his face. Then a little curve for his nose. And then make that line go a little bit further. Like that. And then this is going to come right down to about here. Okay, let's make his eyes. So two little circles. I tend to show them on the same side. And little nostrils. And his little mouth. There we go. And we can give him a mane too. We can go boom, 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 boom. And it's okay to make those noises. I like making noises when I draw. Maybe some little lines here to give him a bit of texture. And a line in his ear there. And let's see what else. Okay, now let's do the wings. So the wings, they go from his body up like that, curve back. And then a little hook on the end. And then boom, 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 boom. And then you can make that go a little bit further back and down. And the other wing, it goes up from his back like that. And then hook again, and same again. Boom, 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 boom. A bit further back and down. Now, he doesn't really have a pointy bum, so we're going to go and kind of round that out around the edge of the bum there and go all the way down to about here. There we go. And where that point is, we can put his tail. So you can put some, like, flower petal-y kind of leaves, things. I don't know. Or even just a big flowing tail if you want. Now for his legs. Some people say horses' legs are hard to draw, but they're not really. You just go boop like that. And then a second line there. Very small in relation to his body. And cap it off with a hoof. And another one right next to it. Two lines. Cap it off with a hoof. In the back, we're going to have this go back like that. Two lines. Cap it off with a hoof. And then trace that line on the belly all the way around. And another leg that can go stop at that line there. Two lines, cap it off with a hoof. And you might want to put some little kind of decoration lines in his wings like feathers. Just like that. And maybe in his tail as well. And sometimes I give him a bit of shadow around his belly, just to make him look a bit rounder. Some lines that give him, give him a bit more volume. And one thing you can do is you can have his wings flapping like that. Flap, flap. You could even write flap, flap, because that's quite funny. Flap, flap. And there's a really cool trick to make him look like he's up in the air. You go right underneath and make like a shadow on the ground. But you make sure you leave a little bit of space in between him and the ground so that you can, he definitely looks like he's up in the air. Now, Kevin is always thinking about one thing. He's always thinking about biscuits. So think, what's your favorite biscuit? And maybe draw it above his head. I'm gonna have him thinking about, I don't know, a jammy dodger maybe. There's his little jammy dodger. You can draw whatever biscuit you like. And 
And once you've drawn your biscuit, give him a little thought bubble, because this is what he's thinking about. And two little dots, that, or three little dots, or whatever, that point to his head to show he's thinking. And then you might put some lines that show he's going really fast, flying along there. And of course, the last thing you do is sign your name. Give your artist signature. I'm going to put Sarah McIntyre, but of course you put your name. And there you go. Well, thanks, Sarah. That was fantastic. And um, if your roly-poly flying pony doesn't turn out to be quite the same shape as Kevin is, because he's quite difficult to draw, so they turn out all shapes, but that's all right, because roly-poly flying ponies come in all sorts of different shapes, and it's always interesting to see what people end up with. And if you'd like to do more drawings, there are, there are loads more drawing activities based on our characters, and there are comics and things to make and do, lots of activities over on Sarah's website, which is at www.jabberworks.co.uk. Brilliant. High five!